Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecure TV. This is part three of the how to bypass the access filter. Uh, previous two part we saw how to uh, like you know how does access occur and then what are the basic filters uh, with the script tag and everything that you can bypass with the mode security firewall filters and other basics application filters developed by the uh, developers now here we'll take step forward and we'll talk more about the events and the meta characters and the null characters to use and how to bypass the filters all right so uh, the first one uh, we're gonna see today is uh, the event now you must know the HTML events so and we usually see this into uh, various applications various websites that developers write this to uh, like it perform some sort of action on the event so the example of this event should be something like let's say on error so if there is an error on the HTML page this is something that developer wants to do now as you know most of the events start with on uh, and followed by the name of the event so for example on error on click on mouse over on load etc etc right so uh, and this is what we have like you know maybe five six ten years ago we could usually or easily perform the access attack by using the on error and then providing this whatever the script we want to run now in today's scenario that might not be possible because there are as we saw like you know there are a lot of firewalls and there are a lot of filters in place that easily block uh, something like you know and whenever they see the event or something so wh wh what are the like you know uh, other examples of the event based accesses so uh, let's talk about the html4 right so as i said like there's on load there is on error uh, on mouse over on input on focus and on cut so these are these are several uh, events that was used maybe that could be used by the developers or this may be used by the attacker to inject the script payload into the input now there uh, of course we are in html5 so we also see there are some variants of it so if someone can use svg tag then keygen uh, video tag or marquee tag so these are all the tags you can also use but again these are all can be easily blocked because of there is a let's say there is a regex right now what developer uh, might be doing is they let's say have like you know filter out all the events that start with on as we know all the events usually starts with the on so uh, if the developer is able to block as soon as it uh, encounters or application blocks as soon as it encounters the events start with the on it can block the injection point and how to do it is by using this regex so as you can see uh, they are uh, like you know we are, we are blocking everything uh, any injection point which starts with the on now is that sufficient uh, think think for a couple seconds and, and tell me or, or like you know just just guess your work uh, it seems it does it's not enough because there are several ways you can bypass this so how do we bypass this uh, the easiest way to bypass is let's say we put this slash now since this regex was only detecting if the event is starting from on so as we saw in the previous example there was a space between the on so it usually the event starts with the on and then it blocks now here it does not start with the on it starts with the svg so it's not gonna block same way you can put multiple slashes and that way also you can uh, block this and here you you have like you know id equal x then semicolon and then start with the event again it's not gonna block because the it does not start with the on so how do we stop this is there a way to stop this uh, of course there is uh, oh here is the another example it's like you know id is equal to x um, and then on load again this does not start with the uh, on so it's not gonna it's gonna go through 
Uh, you can try some of this while you're doing penetration testing to see if this is the basic uh, regex filter that the developer has written. If not, then you can uh, easily bypass this using one of these. Now, let's say what is the advanced uh, regex that, that uh, now let's see what is the ad uh, advanced regex that someone can use. So uh, let's talk about this one. Now, what what's going on here is uh, they have the forest less as what does it mean is we are going to block all the meta characters like all the spaces between before the on event so like we, for example you have on load and before that there is a tab or space it's gonna block it we have took care of all the special characters like semicolon as we saw in the previous examples and all the other characters forward slash backslash to prevent the access uh, now is this sufficient let's see uh, so problem is now the browser convert control character to a space thus the uh, forward slash ash para character is not enough to cover all the passable characters so as we have seen here like you know we have used the uh, forward slash s to cover all the uh, meta characters but it's not because someone can use the control character and convert to a space browser will convert to a space and then it's gonna uh, execute as a normal XSS. Let's see some examples. So how do you bypass? Uh, you can use SVG. So this is the HTML5 example on load. You can put the uh, control character uh, 09. This will be, uh, this is a control character, but of course uh, our regex will not be able to recognize because uh, this is not part of the uh, forceless S or any of the characters that we have mentioned in the regex. Uh, other thing you can also have it on the front uh, or in the back uh, you can have like you know front and back with the different control characters same way uh, these are again uh, you can look it up like you know I don't want to go into detail on what's, what of, what each of these characters are but you can definitely take a look and uh, so these are uh, some of the uh, like you know control characters I wanted to give you uh, guys uh, so if you are using Firefox for the exploitation or Chrome so you can they see uh, you can use these characters to kind of see how you can bypass the regex which was uh, like you know which, which has a stronger regex we saw in the earlier example and which might work now as we know uh, there is always updates going on with the browser there is always like you know new functionality coming up with the new security feature coming up so some of this might not work uh, tomorrow some of this might not work after a month based on the updates and browser uh, how browser evolves so what you can do is you can use the fuzzer test below so these are uh, some of the uh, couple couple uh, page which you can use and run the uh, payload in your own browser and see the results uh, and uh, one is like you know a character is allowed after attribute name and this one is allowed before attribute name so definitely try this out uh, this is going to be good for your practice as well if you're not very serious about the pen test but also you just want to try it out you can use this there's a good tutorial as well so try this out and and see if it works because and of course you can uh, use this for research as well like today let's say chrome released or firefox released a new security feature or new functionality how you can bypass using maybe something else like you know not this control character but you have something else to use to bypass this so this is a good application or website to uh, like you know, interact with. So, what would be the stronger regex? So we saw a couple examples and we were able to bypass both of them. Now, how do we do that? Of course, uh, it's pretty simple, right? Like all the con we'll blacklist all the control characters possible apart from uh, forward slash s. So we have pretty much blacklisted all the control characters so if uh, if the application detects any of this in the injection point or as a payload it's gonna black uh, blacklist and block it and then uh, the access would not happen so this something uh, good uh, uh, someone can use uh, uh, who is doing the development or, or wants to detect it now one thing I would say uh, again uh, 
I would rather have whitelisting than blacklist so of course you can make the regex in the reverse and say okay instead of this I would rather have only this characters allowed for my input but uh, again this is like you know a defense in depth so you can have that as well as you can also have this regex to detect any other payload that might come through from any other injection point uh, such as any header or anything so uh, you can apply this as well as with the whitelisting to uh, have your application more secure uh, so that's it uh, I want to discuss in this video do try this out uh, do practice as much as you can and let me know if you have got any questions we'll uh, make sure we'll, we'll cover uh, even like you know some more advanced examples into our upcoming videos so uh, hit uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and please hit the like button uh, if you like this content uh, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week